Hello, everybody. My name is Ma. Welcome to my tea party. Today, I'm going to talk about the foodie map of China. When traveling China, the first thing appears in mind, besides what to visit, must be what to eat. Considering the tickets are required in every single tourist site, and are very expensive, enjoying delicious and special local flavor food is always a more popular option. China is a big country, so people from different areas make different food. Recently, some netizens made a food map of China. I was born in Hunan Province, grew up in Canton Province. Sichuan Province is one of my favorite places, and Xi'an food surprised me the most. So today, I'm going to mainly introduce food from Hunan, Canton, Sichuan, and Shanxi provinces. I also will briefly introduce food from other provinces as a tourist. Hunan is famous for its spicy food. Almost every dish is covered with chilies, including vegetable dishes. Talking about Hunan food, smelly tofu, chou tofu, must be the first thing that comes to mind. Its deep-fried fermented tofu is a kind of food you either love or hate. People who love Smelly tofu will say it smells smelly but tastes good. The second food in mind as a Hunan person is fish head in two chilies: chopped hot chili and chopped pickled chili. When the fish head is eaten, we normally mix the chili with noodle. Delicious. The third one is chi ba, glutinous rice cake. It's crispy outside and soft inside and tastes sweet. Hunan style kill meat is one of my favorite Hunan food. Normally, family makes the kill meat themselves. Several years ago, my grandma made the kill meat before the Spring Festival, so the kill meat can be ready for Spring Festival meal. Some relatives from countryside also will give us kill meat as a present before the Spring Festival. We normally steam the kill meat. With chili powder, or stir fry the cured meat with dry muli. Or I grew up in Canton, so I'm quite familiar with Cantonese food. It's very interesting that Hunan Province and Canton Province are right next to each other. From Guangzhou, the capital city of Canton, to Changsha, capital city of Hunan, it's around seven hours driving in good traffic, around four hours by bullet train. The style of food in these two provinces are in two extremes. Hunan people indulge themselves in chilies, but most Cantonese people cannot eat spicy food. Canton people like to steam the food to keep the original flavor of food, so the ingredients of food is very important for Cantonese dish. It is said that some advanced Cantonese foodies can tell whether the seafood is fresh or not, or whether the chicken is free range or not. It is like some people can tell which year the red wine it is. When thinking about Cantonese food, seafood must be the first thing that comes to mind. Seafood in Canton is very different from the UK. Before cooking, seafood in Cantonese restaurant is still alive to keep the fresh taste of the seafood. Seafood in Chinese is hai xian. Hai is sea. Xian means fresh. So the freshness of seafood is very important. When the fresh seafood is cooked, the taste sweet. When cooking seafood. Cantonese people don't add much seasoning with it. Only add some soy sauce, garlic, spring onion, ginger. Seafood congee is my favorite. Dim sum from Canton is well known all over the world. Dim sum in Chinese is called zhao cha, breakfast tea. It was only served at breakfast time as it's so popular. A lot of restaurants extend the breakfast tea till lunch time. Prawn dumpling. Steam bun stuffed with barbecue, roast pork, rice noodle roll, shao mai, and stick rice in lotus leaf are the must-order dishes. Guangzhou is not only the capital city of Canton, but also a foodie paradise. Every time I went to Guangzhou, I will have sweet soup, tang sui, double skim milk, sweetened red bean paste with lotus seed and lily bulbs. And simmer white jelly fungus with papaya and apricot kernels are my favorite. 
I grew up in Huizhou, where a lot of Hakka live here. Hakka food is one of the most important branches of Canton food. Salt roast chicken is one of the signature dishes. Hakka people like to stuff meat into vegetable, like stuff aubergine, stuff and bitter melon, stuff tofu. I love them all. Sichuan is one of my favorite places in China. Sichuan is also famous for its spicy food, but it's very different from spicy food of Hunan. Hunan spicy food is salty and spicy, but Sichuan people like to use one spice called Hua Jiao, Sichuan peppercorn. It will make your tongue feel numb. Talking about Sichuan food, I have to mention Sichuan hot pot. It is so popular that you can see Sichuan hot pot restaurants are all over the world. Sichuan snack food is also my favorite. Famous snack food includes famous kung pao chicken, clear noodles in chili sauce, chuan bei liang fen. Noodle is Sichuan style, dan dan mian. Why is called dan dan mian? Dan is carrying pole. It is said that the vendor used the carrying pole to carry the baskets of noodle to sell in the town. That is why it's called dan dan mian. The last one I want to recommend is san da pao, three bands. Why it's called three bands? See the video. It's actually grating the rice ball while making it. It's making bam 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 noise. That's how it got its name. It is an exception from Sichuan food. It's sweet. When I first went to Xi'an, I did not have any expectation for its food. That's why I amazed by its food later. Marinating meat in baked bun and pita bread. Soak in lamb soup are the two most famous Xi'an dishes. Marinating meat in baked bun did not impress me much, but pita bread soaked in lamb soup is a must-try dish. You need to tear the bread yourself. The smaller the bread is, the better the dish tastes. So your work affects the taste of the food. I have friend living in Xi'an, so he took us have meal in restaurants at local school. So we did not go to restaurants for tourists. About the food in the rest of China, I know as little as everyone else does. Northern China is famous for its cooked wheaten food like dumpling, bun noodle. Beijing is famous for its roast duck. The food in Shanghai, Jiangsu Province, and Zhejiang Province tastes sweet. Yancheng Lei crab from Jiangsu Province is famous. Every autumn, the season for eating crab, the price for Yancheng Lei crab rockets. Beef and lamb in Mongolia are famous. Lamb kebab and roast whole lamb is famous in Xinjiang Province. Xinjiang is also famous for its fruit. Grapes from Tebam Grape Valley and Hami melon from Hami are the best. Tibetan zamba, also called roast tea, chinka, barley flour, is good, although it does not look good. Yunnan rice noodle and pu noodle in Lanzhou, Gansu province, are national famous. Anyway, it would take me days to talk about Chinese food. So today the time is up. I hope you enjoyed the show. If you like my video, please follow, comment, and subscribe me. See you next time.